Hi YouTube, this is Betty and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to share some cards I created using my embossing folders. Markeisha and I decided to challenge each other um, to pull out our embossing folders and create. Markeisha is Sweet Papery Treasures here on YouTube. I will leave a link to her channel below for you guys to go over and check out her creations as well. I'm playing with Anna Griffin embossing folders. So this is a retired set um, by Anna Griffin. And these are the embossing folders that has this um, opening here where you put the inserts inside. This is what the inserts look like right here. And basically you put the inserts in there and emboss it and your um, sentiment will be inside of the card. It also comes with some dies that you can cut out of the sentiment if you like. So here's an example. So for my card shares today, I just left the um, sentiment actually inside of the card. Um, you know, just to make it go quicker. This is a retired set but you can find these on eBay because that's where I purchased mine. And you'll have to shop around so that you can find a really good price. And I found a really good price for this set. So today I'm sharing cards using this set. And then I have another set that I'm, I'm going to play with as well. I'm gonna come back and share those and I'll probably do that with the Anna Griffin collab that I'm in. I'll share those cards once I create them. <laughs> All right, so I'll go in detail with the different embossing folders as I share the card so that you can get a good idea of what it looks like. Here is card number one, and you can see the embossing folder there as well as the sentiment I have here that says, uh, with gratitude. And then I created this flower and put it on the card. I kept it really, really simple. Um, I used some stickles on the end, very clean and simple. Of course, I used some matte board under this layer here to give it some lift off of the card. So let me share with you that embossing folder as well as the uh, flower that I used uh, for this card. All right, so this is the embossing folder I used. It's called Embroidered Edge. So this is what it looks like. And then you can see the sentiment that I selected with gratitude for this one. I use some file folders for my paper. Um, so I love using file folders for paper options because it's thicker and um, you know, a heavier weight paper. So this is what I used here for the cardstock. And here is the flower that I use. It's called um, Garden Lily by Heartfelt Creations. So I use the dies as well as the 3D shaping mold. So I love using Heartfelt Creation um, dies and the mold to create flowers. This card measures five by seven. So let me share with you the inside of the card. So I just used a stamp here on the inside that says, thanks darling. So I thought that was really cute. I love that it's big and it covers a lot of the surface of the card. And I'll share that um, stamp set with you. And here's the back. This is the stamp set that I used. This was a clearance find from Hobby Lobby. The name of it is Hello Darling. So I love the font and the size of that stamp. This is card number two. And I went with that beautiful coral um, color. This one reads, um, Keep the Faith. You can see the beautiful um, garden lily flower there. And I love this one as well. And so let me share the embossing folder that I use for this one. That one is called Knotted Filigree. And here's the inside of the card. And I went with this sentiment, be joyful in hope, faithful in prayer. And here's the back of the card. And let me share with you the stamp set that I use for the inside sentiment. I use a Recollections Clear Stamps and here's the stamp right here. This is a very, very old um, stamp set. Um, I picked it up from Michaels and it's been a really long time ago. I don't even know if they still carry it, 
but I absolutely love this stamp set and I noticed that I use it a lot. Here is card number three. I went with this beautiful teal color. I have that same sentiment there with gratitude. You can see the embossing in the back. I love this one. It is beautiful. And let me share that embossing folder with you. This one is called Garden Wreath. This one is really, really pretty. See the beautiful flower I created to go on on the front of it. And I believe I went with that same sentiment, thanks darling. And I put it on this side and then I'll just write my message over here. So that is really, really pretty. And here's the back of that one. Here are the three sets here. And I have another set to share with you, but I wanted to share how it looked all together. So super pretty. I love the colors. And so now let me share with you the next three sets. Okay, I went with the same colors, um, but I used a different sentiment. And this one reads, for my dear friend, you can see my 3D garden lily flower there. And I just love this um, embossing folder, it's so pretty. And so here's the sentiment for this one. It says, the Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. And this is, you know, a card to uplift a friend um, if they're going through some difficult times um, just a little something to help lift them up. here's the back of this card and that stamp the inside sentiment is from that same recollection here's the next one and i used a different sentiment this one reads faith hope and love and you can see the flower there and then for the inside of this one I shared that same um, sentiment on the other card. And then here's the back. And then here's another one. This one reads, Peace Be With You. And then here's the inside of the card. I used a different stamp in the inside, wishing you strength for today and hope for tomorrow on that one. So I had to go with some metallic gold um, with those embossing folders. And this one reads, you are a blessing. And with this one, I went with the white 3D lily flower on the front. And here's the sentiment for this one, that thanks darling. I love that. And um, on this one, I did some embossing. As you can tell there, I love this um, new embossing powder that I have. You may want to check it out. It's really pretty. It's by Brutus Monroe and it's called Gilded and the gold embossing and I love that it is so pretty you can see that in there and then here's the back of this one I decided to go ahead and emboss the back um, and I'll share that embossing folder with you but it is beautiful you guys on that gold metallic gold I love that so let me share with you the embossing folder I use this embossing folder called beautiful blooms 3D by Spellbinders. So let me share with you the next card. I did another one, but I used a different sentiment. This one reads, praying for you. And here's the inside. I did some embossing in the inside. Prayer changes everything. And then I put this little cross over here. And then I did the same embossing folder on that one. So that is my share for you guys today. Make sure you check out Markeisha. Also, if you would like to become a part of my crafty YouTube family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram, Scrap Passion on One. Make sure you like the video, okay? If you like what you've seen today, don't forget to hit the like button. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye!